Hello everybody! So Groundhog Day eluded me this year and I blame the caucuses. I live in Iowa so my my newsfeed has been flooded with how Hillary you know is trying to cheat is cheating the caucuses and all the lies she's been telling which you know is nothing new. Um, but like I said Groundhog Day just kind of slipped past me. Well played, Groundhog. And since the Groundhog did not see his shadow, that means it's going to be an early spring. So I put him in a spring-like setting. So I hope you liked this tutorial and let's get started. I started with light brown face paint on an angled brush and I drew the outline of the Groundhog. going to be coming out of the ground so you don't have to worry about his body. Then I went ahead and outlined him. Drew on his nose and mouth. Gave him a big cute eye. Gave him an ear. And then with some dry black face paint. I just did some shading. Gave his eye a little white spot and then I added some highlights to his nose. And for the highlights I used some white face paint that was a little bit watered down so it would blend a lot easier. And then with dark green face paint I drew some blades of grass to make it look like he was coming out of the ground. And then over those, I went in with light green and drew some light green blades of grass. Then I felt like he should have a sun. So then I drew on a sun and I didn't like just the silly, simple rays of sunshine, so I did it a little different. I did it in sections um, and for the rays of sunshine, I did a few lines of the yellow and then just blended it with my finger and it, on the ends I try to blend it into my skin so it so it fades. And then for the sun, I wanted it to stand out more so I added some white and then that wasn't enough. So I went in with some yellow mixed with some white face paint and brightened it up. Then I felt it still wasn't complete so I went in and painted on some butterflies. You can do these butterflies wherever you want. I just wanted something simple and cute. Yeah, and then I thought they looked better with uh, two antenna instead of just one. Then I went in and added some smaller details to the butterflies just to give them more character. And then I wanted my sun to shine, so I added some glitter. And there it is, the completed Groundhog Day face painting. And of course you gotta make faces. I hope you all liked this tutorial. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts and what you thought of it. Maybe what you want to see next. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to keep up on my videos. And I want to thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.